Hello, hello, welcome to another build video. Um, this is just a quick video here about the variant that I use for like the weak points on Razorback in the Dark Owls raid. So it's a headshot build. Uh, so basically, again, like this time, just we go for like crit chance and crit damage. We want we want a high crit chance and we want a high crit damage uh, with this build here. So what we are using is a Gunslinger holster for the pistol charge. So you never play with a pistol basically, you are a circle player, a central circle 1, 2, 3 or 4, you go to the inside and you do the nading stuff, and that's why we run the munitionist, you can pop the nade in there so you don't have to throw it, just shoot, shoot the hatch and be done with it. And then the fun begins basically. You use a revenus on the hatch of the Razorback when the hatch is open, you use the hatch as soon as possible. Uh, you shoot six times on the left, one on the right, then six times again on the left and one on the right. This will basically stack up the revenues completely so you get more damage. And what you do then is switch into the pistol and shoot the weak point on the top on your side. And because of the stacking from the revenues, the higher damage and the pistol damage from the gunslinger, the weak point will just go away and you switch to the assault rifle and shoot the weak point on the top. And then it's basically done. Uh, the build has enough damage so you can help from the circle. Um, for the enemies outside on your like gunner positions that are outside protecting you, you can help them from the inside too. You can also kill enemies really quickly. Um, I use a foam launcher here as well, so I can foam the guys for him if I see them and he like has an, is occupied with a happy or something on on a turret. I can just foam them very quick and shoot them down from distance. Uh, you can do that with both weapons here. You can use the assault rifle or you can use uh, any any other weapon also here. You could also use a normal rifle, classic m a or whatever. Um, but this is more like a pistol damage, pistol damage, crit chance, crit damage build here. Uh, vigilance on the backpack, the Providence defense part, you can, I'd use two here because I get like 15, uh, 20, not 20. It's 15% uh, headshot damage here and the next one is 10% crit chance. That gives me a good amount of crit chance. I use a Cheska as well, so I can reroll all the other ones to crit damage and headshot damage here or weapon handling, whatever you prefer. It doesn't really matter. Uh, crit damage is fine, and the second route you just like pick one weapon handling, or you can also use like crit chance if you have not enough, or you can use headshot damage as well. Uh, I go for crit damage here, mostly headshot damage. The fox players here are rolled to crit damage this time because we want a higher crit shot. The higher the crit shot is, the better, because you will benefit on your other weapons by focusing on some ads on the outside too instead of just doing the weak point with a pistol. It will be done with no crit, no problem at all, if you stack the revenues correctly. Um, if you want to see this in action on the gameplay, because I'm not really a content creator and I don't want to bother you or bore you down here with like gameplay showing of 10 minutes and then explaining the build in 2 seconds, uh, just have a look on someone like uh, playing Dark Horse in a circle. There are plenty of people using this build, but many people don't know how it's built. So this is just a quick loadout for you here that you can recreate to get this done for yourself. Anyway, hope you like it. Uh, if you do, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment. Tell me what could be better. Maybe I'm missing something. And see you on the next one. Bye bye.